China is turning to technology in its fight against desertification, using drones to seed trees and with sprawling solar farms across the sands. Our correspondent Tan Sehui visited China's Inner Mongolia region to look into the country's wider climate ambitions. It's a striking sight, referred to as the Solar Great Wall. Stretching 400 kilometers, this mega project in China's north is poised to become one of the largest solar power installations in the world. Construction began in Inner Mongolia's Ordo City last year and is set to be completed by 2030. The site to supply clean power to capital Beijing and its surrounding area. 一方面是广袤的土地资源，我们可以集中连片，建设这么大型的光伏基地。另一方面呢，就是我们这儿的光照市场，年有效光照市场为一千九百八十七小时，就是近两千小时嘛。The structure also serves another purpose. Installed solar panels stabilize the sand and provide a shield from the wind, creating optimal conditions for shrubs to grow. It's also part of a broader strategy to prevent land degradation in China's arid north, caused by water shortages and human activities. China's battle to hold back its desert has been going on for decades. But new technology has intensified efforts in recent years. These drones scatter grass seeds, reducing the need for back-breaking manual planting. Now, the working conditions here in the desert is extremely harsh. As you can tell, the sand is very soft, and the wind can be extremely strong, blowing the sands into the faces of these workers. As of last year, more than half of the country's desertified land has been reforested or stabilized. China is also the first in the world to achieve zero net land degradation, even reducing areas that have been desertified. The country's green efforts have been in the spotlight as the U.S. has rolled back climate policy under the Trump administration. I would say China uh, will be the global leader in sustainability uh, by design or even by default. And I think that this is actually... Uh, uh, gel very well with the combination of their domestic policy as well as their international commitment. In September, ahead of the COP30 meeting in Brazil, President Xi Jinping announced China would cut greenhouse gas emissions by 7 to 10 percent by 2035, the first absolute emissions reduction target for the country. He also committed to increase China's use of cleaner fuels and expand its installed wind and solar power capacity. This must be coupled with uh, real action in raising, say, the share of uh, non-fossil fuel in the energy mix, including coal. I think going forward, they need to coordinate with probably uh, other countries to, to invigorate the voluntary carbon markets. And of course, uh, China will need to participate in the Paris Agreement carbon markets, uh, which was finalized last year uh, for the Article 6 of the Paris Agreement. So in other words, what I feel is sometimes China tends to underpromise and overdeliver. Still, observers note there could be spillover benefits for other countries. Green development continues to be in focus in China's latest five-year social and economic roadmap. As officials said, the country intends to strengthen international collaboration on green technology. Tan Sehui, CNA, Ordos, China.